What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Chris back again with another video and in this video I'm going to be doing the ultimate starting trading guide basically like what you can do from one coin to 50k around there you can even make 100k with some of the methods that i show you today um that's what the video is going to be about um i just learned a little while ago i was going to start this video by telling you what's going on in the catalog right but i found out that there's actually no catalog in the game next year they kind of replaced that so it's going to be a little different this year the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open the welcome backpack right so the welcome backpack is usually tradable and in this pack, you usually get a couple gold rares that you could either sell on, make a little profit. Um, that's what I would do because whatever you pack, you want to get some coins to be able to trade with. Um, you should be able to get about 5 to maybe over 10k if it depends on the pack pull. But that pack is usually tradable, so that's going to be like the first thing you do when you open up FIFA Ultimate Team. Obviously, besides the you know looking at the squad that you just picked and the nationality and stuff like that. So that's gonna be the first thing you do. Now, what a lot of people do right after they get that that first pack, they go and do the hybrid leagues SBC. Now that's the most profitable one because you do it in a in an order of three, four, two, one. That's usually how the way it goes. I just know it by doing SBC accounts and other people who I know do accounts like that as well. That's how you start out. So these these SBCs are very profitable, right? You can either choose to do that or you could choose to trade with the coins that you have. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because you can go into SBC solutions on Fuppin and you can look at solutions for these SBCs. Anything that has a like, people will click on it and they'll do the exact same squad. So it's so easy to trade with cards in those tiers, um, in those solutions. So that'd be one of the first or second things I would do when you um, open up Ultimate Team is definitely take a look at the solutions with these SBCs. Something I also want to show you guys um, to make coins, right? So you have like five to 7,000 coins. Let's say for example, right? What you could do is a multitude of things. You could trade with silvers. Now, the first league SBCs usually come out on the 30th, right? FIFA 17, it was about Liga NOS and MLS. Last year, or FIFA 18, Liga, and then this past year was the Scottish League and the EFL, right? So what's going to happen here is you're going to be able to trade with a lot of silver cards. It's one of the most influential ways to make coins when the game comes out, okay? And anytime during the year, actually, you can trade with these cards whenever you want. So for me, I would find filters. Find filters that work for you. So like, for example, I would go, you know, if I have 5,000 coins and I want to make about three, 400 coins per card or even a little bit less, something I want to tell you guys before I tell you this, be persistent in the in the web app in the early access when you have the 10 hours of the ea access be persistent you're not going to make coins unless you're persistent through bidding and making 100 200 coin profits listen it's a grind the first 50 to 100k but once you get there it'll be so much easier for you to trade because you know all these low budget methods and for me i'm going to be making so many different videos of how to manage your coins after these first two you know first day or two um, that you guys will want to make sure if you guys are enjoying the video already drop a like um, I'd very much appreciate it. I think this video should do well just because of the content that's going to be in it um, A lot of good trading methods in this video when you have about five to seven thousand coins So I can look at any filter. I want really I can look at defenders from league on I can look at serial defenders Bundesliga. It doesn't even have to be defenders. It could literally be left mids right mids left backs right backs look at positions that aren't common right so like common positions are like midfielders strikers all that kind of stuff look for the the wide positions that is what i would do i'd get on a filter the only thing i would do is i would look at team of the week one the reason why i look at team of the week one is because there's a filter that you can use depending on the amount of cards from a specific league there is so in this team of the week one let's go to it real quick the first team of the week one we had Xhaka, yarmolenko and ryan frazier now, depending on the prices of all three of these cards, I think Frazier was about 12 and 13k. I think Jacques was as low as 14, and Yarmolenko was as low as like 18 or 19. Because for his card, he's he's got the four-star skills. He's not really usable, to be fair. But you can do a filter. So what you can do is, oh, I know there's three Premier League informs that are in packs right now, and you can't pack their gold cards. 
So let's go and do special from the Premier League because there's no UCL cards yet. There's no other informs. There's no other special cards on the game besides the first team of the week. So you would set up your filter where if the cheapest one is like 12k uh, or the cheapest one is like 13k, you put your bid at like your max by now 11.5 and then you start searching, right? And then you can search for Yarmolenko, Xhaka, and, and Ryan Frazier, depending on what league has a majority of cards from the first team of the week. That would be something else I would look for. Um, also, depending on the hour that they release the web app on the 18th, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be key for you because gold cards may be in packs for a couple hours when, and then they'll release um, team of the week. I'm not 200% sure on that, but if gold cards are in packs for a couple hours, if you can get if you can get on some coins, maybe buying a couple of those players that could get in um, would do really well because they're gonna be out of packs for a week and they weren't really in team of the week or they weren't in packs for that long, so they're gonna be one of the rarest items in the game. That would be something I would need to see what time, because we're still left in the dark by EA, what time is everything coming out? We know the dates, we know when the first league SBC drops, we know all of that stuff, but we don't know the actual times um, that the web app is going to be released and the 10 hours early access is going to be released. We don't know that yet. Um, so that's all up in the air right now. Another thing you want to do, honestly, and I'm going to show you like a bunch of low budget trading methods. Um, I, I did this one, one of my friends showed me this this year, is Gold, Defender, and Shadow. So Shadow is the most common, that's like the best chem style for Defender, right? That's the most common. So what you can do is you can see, okay, maybe there's a Shadow card on a certain player, gives it an added value, and you can take a look at some of these filters, right? And just start comparing pricing and see if you could find an undercard on a card like this. Another one is obviously Forward and Hunter. You get the gist of it, you look at the cheapest buy now on the market. You search for undercuts, you can make about 100 to maybe 1,000 coins per card. Um, that's very good to do. Um, probably when the full game comes out, that's more, that's better to do, but you could still do it during the early access trading. Another trading method is very effective is the gold position change method, um, where you can look at a card. So say, for example, Deli Alley. Deli Alley is, you know, a center attacking mid by trade, but you want to look him up as a, as a center forward, right? So you see how many center forward Deli Alleys are on the market. And obviously, right now, the market is dead. So we're not going to be able to find any gold Deli Alleys. But this was very effective for me earlier on last year was finding Deli Alleys at center forward, right? And then they might have been a big undercut because people don't realize when they when they list something on the market that they're listing with either a chem style on them or a position change. That is very effective because it gives the card added value. So never, and that's one tip for you guys, always make sure what are you selling your card with. It's not just the player you're selling. You're selling a card with either a shadow card, a hawk. You know, you need to look at your card before you actually sell them. Because most players, honestly, they go and look at a card like Benyetta, for example, right? And these are methods you could do in early access and you could do this at any time during the, during the year. It's very, very effective. You can look at him, so uh, Ben Yedder is a striker, right? But I want to look at him as a center attack in mid. If if he's a center attack in mid gold card, and there's one for 3,000, the next one is like 7 or 8K, and I watch it and I see like, okay, it's going on bid, right? For example, this one right here, 2,200 right here. If his cheapest was 3,500, I could potentially make some coins on that by selling him for 3K, 3.1K, and he will sell you know it, it, earlier on in the game everything is going to sell so i would definitely look at something like this another thing i would look at is just again filters man you gotta find filters for yourself it's all about being creative and seeing what works for you once you have something that works for you stay on it until it doesn't work anymore then you want to move on so i'm just gonna look at random filters right now so i would go like i don't know like bad nations in in different leagues, right? Or like good nations in bad leagues. So France, right? How many French players could potentially be in Super League, right? You would look at that. You would look, oh, you have Clichy. You have Valbuena. You have the CDM right here who I can't pronounce his name. You have three or four different options, right? So what you do on day one or day two, you look at France and Super League and you say, okay, how many what's the price of these cards can i get snipes on these cards because these cards will uh go into spcs as solutions or they are just going to be put into people's clubs and people will still buy them so uh, that is something i would look at as well just looking at random creative uh creative methods 
at the start of FIFA 20. Um, I would have told you to do the catalog stuff, but again, catalog is not going to be in next year's game. Apparently, concepts aren't going to be in next year's game as well, which I am very, very shocked with. Um, but yeah, that team of the week tip is going to be key, depending on if the amount of gold cards are in packs for. Um, the filters, the silver trading, all of that stuff, you guys want to be looking at a lot of that. The informs, right? If you get to 25-30k, bang, just start doing the, the Premier League method that I showed you earlier in the video. That is, that is all stuff you can do at the start of FIFA 20. Um, again, if you have like 70-80k, I, I was getting this question in my chat today. What happens if we have 60-70k? Well, what you could do actually in the first two days is maybe stock some players away. Like a Juan Masaka. Like if you, and I'm going to show you in the next video what to do. But... For example, Ben Yedder's gold card during the web app last year and during early access was 3,000 coins. By four days later, he went to nine, he went to 8,000 coins. That is how quickly these cards can rise up. So if you see a card that's meta earlier on that has good skill moves, good weak foot, good nationality, good league, right? That tick off the boxes. I would buy them during the during the web app. Aldevild, SPC fodders, if they're low. Everything is going to be low. The reason why is because there's no buying power in the market. No one's got coins. Everyone wants to be trading. Everyone wants to do SBCs. That is why no one's buying these players and they're just undercutting each other because they want to get their quick coins so they can just keep trading, right? So Aldevild was about 5 or 6k. Koke, the same thing. These SBC fodders will go up a lot. Once the full game comes out, people start to realize they are actually SBC fodders. Um, and then obviously by their rating, they, there's kind of like a, like a max and a minimum price that they usually go to. And if they go below that minimum price, then you, you buy obviously when the full game comes out, but that was like a 12, 13 minute video. Um, I think I covered pretty much everything. Silvers, golds, gold position. There's so many different methods you can do. You can literally just snipe anything you want. Any card is going for something, any meta card. Find a price that you like, you know, there. Oh, I'm gonna tell you this last method and you're gonna love me for this, but at 10 p.m. Eastern NA, right? 10 p.m. is the most dead time in the market. When you do that, nobody's on the market because one, you have no buying power because there's one, no one on the market and two, no one's got coins. So for the people that are listing these cards up, they're actually undercutting what's already on the market and that creates... A market that has no demand but it has supply so the prices of these cards go down you can buy them at 10 11 p.m eastern time which is like 3 4 a.m in the uk and europe and then you can sell them during the day the next day because every single day these cards go up in price they're not going to stay that low the market is eventually going to have more coins which gives more buying power to players to buy these cards so I would buy late night and I would sell during the daytime because when the majority of people are on the market, there's more demand than supply, um, especially earlier on. That would be a lot of the different methods I would use in the first couple days of the early access, EA access, whatever you have going for you, web app, anything. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe if you are new around here and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.